This from the Bleach Report, prospects for the Browns to avoid in the upcoming NFL draft. They're going to say Xavier Leggett, uh, only 42 receptions in his college career, could be a red flag for a team in the Browns' position uh, with no draft picks to a Ceiling may be high on Leggett based on his 2023 campaign. Overall body of work a bit concerning. They also say Jonathan Brooks, Browns can't take a risk on a prospect coming off a torn ACL if Chubb was, co if Chubb was coming back off a healthy season, Browns might be willing to take a risk on Brooks. Simply can't do that with their current situation. They also have Braylon Allen, uh, running back from Wisconsin, uh, was a standout from the time he entered the Badgers program. Also means he comes professional ranks, ton of carries on his legs. Allen's is, Allen has had at least 180 carries each of his three seasons at Wisconsin. He's still only 20 years old, though, so I the tread on the tire, maybe. Um, just your reaction. And any of those three really pop for you? All of them in different ways. Uh, <laughs> Leggett, that broke my heart to hear that. I, he's a guy that I'm 100 percent in on, and I know you would like a larger, you know, sample of work in college. But I'm talking about a former high school quarterback who transitioned to receiver, and the light did come on late for him, but it came on. It came on in a big way. And he has every physical attribute that you want and something that's different from every receiver you already have. You know, out of all the receivers at the combine that ran under a 4-4, he was about 25 pounds heavier than all of them. I mean, he's, it's, he's a physical marvel, man. And, and the, what works in the NFL? Well, I know slants work. I know smoke screens work. And I know nine balls work. He can do those three things today. So that's, that's someone that I wouldn't write off my list just from a lack of college production. Uh, Brooks is a different one because it's like, He's not going to be available at 85, so you, if you're going to pull the trigger, it would be at 54. Are you comfortable with using that pick on a red shirt player? Because that's what he would essentially be. He's not someone who's going to come in and, and take any significant workload out of that backfield. But if you can use a red shirt on someone like that, because when, when Jonathan Brooks gets fully healthy and his, get from his ACL injury and he gets his legs under him in this league, he's going to be a problem for a long time. So he's someone if you could stash and you can afford that, 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 that would be a good move. I just don't know if they are going to do that view their first pick in the draft in that manner. Allen's a different one. Allen's physically, he's, I mean, obviously he's huge. He's young as can be. He's going to play his rookie season as a 20-year-old. It just comes down to schematics for me. He looks like he's going to excel in like a gap-heavy scheme. And we don't know what this offense is fully going to evolve into, but I, I strongly think that it's going to have some concepts of inside and outside zone along with duo and mesh. And those aren't things that I envision him excelling at. But if you're a team that is going to plan on running a gap-heavy scheme, I, I would definitely go after Allen.